Hi, this is just a quick introduction to using the lecterns in the Hawthorne Lecture Theatre. So I'll just hop out the way so you can see the equipment. So what we have here is a DVD player. So videos will become obsolete now. So if people are using video, they'll have to get their stuff digitised. Um, and they can do that through the library. So we've got a DVD player. And then on this side, we've got a computer. So to use the lectern, I just power on. That's the only button I have to press. There's nothing on the wall behind me. Hit the power button. So if you're plugging in a USB pen, that will go to that little hole there where it says USB. So you can carry around your lectures and your materials and slides and just slot it in there. OK, I'm now going to move and show you the control panel at the top. Right, sometimes the control panels can be quite different. In the big lecture theatres, we've got these video touch screens. In some of the smaller classrooms, we just have a, a small control box, but essentially they do the same thing. Now, if you come to the lecture theatre and this screen is dark and blank, you need to switch this on button here. OK, so once it's booted up, and that's pretty instant, it says the system is off, press here to start, so I essentially press the screen and there it is it's live and ready to go and it gives me some options so I can scroll between using the computer and my USB pen or going onto the internet I can plug in a laptop or I can use the visualizer which I'll show you in a minute or I can play a DVD and you simply press between them now whilst I'm doing this behind me the projector has come on and oh you can see the computer now is booting up Right, so I'll show you how to maybe get onto Blackboard and um, play um, your PowerPoint slides from Blackboard. So, you can use the mouse, and what you need to do is log on to the computer just as you would to any computer. And this might take a little while. So simply, when I'm giving lectures in here, I've got all my stuff on Blackboard. So I'll show you what I do, and that is to go onto the internet ask me later, staff portal, log in, you know, just as you'd access Blackboard from your machines. Okay, so that's logged me in. I now need to find Blackboard. And there you go, you just load up your PowerPoint exactly as you would. So equally, you could do this from a memory stick. You can do it from an external laptop, if you like. And there we go. So Bob's your uncle. That's it, really. So the other thing to always bear in mind, if you're in especially these larger lecture theatres, people can't hear at the back, so always switch the microphone on. Um, and even in the classrooms, you, you might think it's a small room, but always use the microphone facility if it's there. That will also stop you straining your voice if you have, you know, more than one teaching session in one day. Um, you can dim the lights at the front, which helps students, again, see the slides on the, the screen that's behind us. You can't see that yet. And you've also got that little lectern um, lamp or light, should you want to have that on. OK, what I'll do now is I'll stop and then I'll show you how to scroll between um, playing PowerPoint slides and using the visualiser. OK, so during the lecture you might want to scroll between using the computer or your laptop and the visualiser. So what you do is you just simply touch these buttons at the top. So I'm going to click visualiser. So it's now gone over to this piece of equipment. And what I need to do... There's just an on-off switch, bang, one button. You don't need to touch anything else. So this is a digital camera, and it's great, actually, for maybe showing photographs in textbooks, for doing a small demonstration, you know, maybe showing how to use a needle or syringe. But actually, what I often do is go back to old-fashioned methods of just writing down notes, doing drawings for students as you go along. So... You simply can just get a pen and paper. So it's a bit like using an acetate. So that is being digitally imaged and I can see my scribbles on the projector screen beside me. But you can see, so whatever you scribble, 
whatever you write on that piece of paper will just come up on the screen or if you want to show a picture from a book or do a little demonstration it will just come up on the screen so that's how you toggle between the two systems so when you finish perhaps what's worth thinking about is do you have a colleague coming in straight after you if so you can just leave it all switched on but if there's no one coming in after you switch off the visualizer then all you have to do is to switch off the off button it says press for two seconds so I'm doing that system shutting down so that shuts off the projector and then I'm just going to lean down here and shut off the power to the PC and that's it so it's three buttons to close down visualizer lectern to control the projector and the power button on the PC